Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to uh, another episode here, right here. Today we're going to talk about what to expect in your first year in university, especially in Canada, because that's where you know where we are at. Um, so let me just kind of give you a breakdown of what will happen. Your and this is not for all cases, but for a lot of cases, your your dad and your mother will come with you. And then they will stay around for. You know, you're looking up here. You need to be looking at the camera. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> you guys as well. <laughs> I know it's distracting. It's too distracting, man. You. <laughs> I'm trying to see if I'm still in check. <laughs> All right. Okay. So guys, guys, sorry if I was looking at you. <laughs> um, <Yeah>. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, okay. First of all, to apologize to all the people whose emails I've not responded to or comments, uh, cause man's been so busy with. Man, I can't even complete the sentence. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't even say anything because the emails haven't been getting to me. So, yeah. anyway, anyway, guys, this is this is this is this is <sighs> for you to know what to expect. Your parents are gonna come with you. They're going to show up and be there for like two weeks but the thing is that in the first two weeks is the time where you make friends um, so you can't allow your parents influence your parents being around mm-hmm. like you know dictates too many things if you're the party type you miss all the parties for the first two weeks sorry if you're not the party type you know losing you're not losing out on much because your parents are around and um, they will help you settle down but you will not really be settled until they leave that's just facts Mm-hmm. They will think they've left you settled. Like, I oh, bought you food for one month or two months. Uh, what else did they tell you? We'll give you money for one month or two months. Um, <laughs> so they required prayers. <laughs> they were praying the prayers <laughs> for the term. They've done everything. So they'll give you that, you know, the ball is in your cut now. My son, go yeah. forth and succeed. Go forth. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> Are you saying you be like? You'll be there, you'll be there like, you know, this is a journey. <laughs> I prepare for it. <laughs> That's how you come into the match and just slap you. <laughs> University just they laugh me like that. Oh. <laughs> so go for it. <laughs> you need like to like me. <laughs> See you call me like a soldier. <laughs> yeah. I think that somehow like deep down your parents know. <laughs> You're like, about to be hunted, <laughs> but I can't tell you now because no, yeah, like, what's the funny of that? Because <laughs> deep down, because obviously they pass through that as well, yeah. so they know that you know the beginning stages. You would have the you know the ginger like this is because anytime you're starting like something new, there's always that feeling of a fresh start. Mm-hmm. You know, like I can do everything that I did wrong mm-hmm. correctly this time, mm-hmm. and <laughs> <laughs> like I'm procrastinating. <laughs> <laughs> Like, believe you me. <laughs> it is anything you do in university. <laughs> Procrastination is number one. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, like, I'll, I'll kind of mess up. <laughs> you may not understand. When you get to uni, that's when you know. <laughs> On time, like, I'll, I'll start, start like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll start studying one week before the exam. <laughs> you know? I'll, I'll, I'll be like, I'll wake up early. I'll go for my class. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go for all, <laughs> all my classes. Yeah, you know, and I'll, I won't be late for anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'll eat too well. <laughs> go to the gym. Ah, I'll go. Mm-hmm. I'll go to the gym. Work out. You know. You roll in some sporting events. You understand. Be be prompt. Make all the good friends and all that. You know. So that's well. That's the purpose of fresh beginnings. And we all had that when we started. You just. <laughs> I'm not. We're not here to say like. I'm sorry to say that that's not what's going to happen for you because. You can speak things into, <laughs> into existence for yourself, but typically you need to be real at this time. <laughs> like, like I even feel bad. I feel like on this channel we discourage people more from coming to Canada. <laughs> but it's, it's, it's like it's good. Because <laughs> <laughs> the thing is that I don't want to. 
you want to be real, like in telling them the truth, but you also want them to have that ginger to come because they will need that to, to even to go a little yeah, bit at least for their, you know, their trains <laughs> to make at least small progress because if we finish their morale and everything they'll even come in already later, yeah and then the things will now hit them on top so coming with some excitement coming with the belief that because you're going to see new faces new you know new friends new challenges so things that you've not even experienced before so having that you know excitement about it will help you you know over time because there will be times that uh, like you, you feel like this yeah, your life was guys look uh, in first year you. in first year just know that like a lot of african like it's different from nigeria ghana Togo, wherever it is you come from, Canada is different. Okay, just know that the education is so different. We've talked about that in the, in other videos. Mm-hmm. Um, just so you know, um, in in first year, a lot of parents expect you to do how well you did in high school. It's not the same. They want you to actually do better. They want you to do better. I mean, as possible. I mean, nothing is impossible. There's people who are going to university and they do well. Okay, so you can be that person. <laughs> <laughs> you can't know for real. <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, nah, I don't want us to make you like no. impossible. No, like a lot of people are doing one. It's not like what I was doing bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. You can do one university, but no, it's, it's yeah. like just like easy. what I'm trying to say is, you know, what? like for me in high school. Okay, when I entered high school, I'm just realizing it's that when I started off. Just like <laughs> But like, yeah, no, I started off in, in in high school, and what happened was. It took me my first two years in like grade seven, grade eight, before I, like I was not doing bad at all, I was doing really well. But by the time I got into grade eight, grade nine, grade ten, grade eleven, grade twelve, I was doing much better. Glory be to God, of course. But this, an attribute of understanding how the system runs, the school, the way things happen in that environment, and sometimes that takes one or two years for different people. Mm-hmm. So when students from abroad expect to come here and do like Mr. Matthew. Because <laughs> Mr. Matthew is an, is a, is a, is an anomaly. Mm-hmm. Like, there are people that are that intelligent who, then again, to his course, is a read book pass mm-hmm. kind of thing, as opposed to apply and analyze. Yeah, you don't read, yeah. Yeah. Basically. Uh, and he's good at that, right? So, my point here is that um, don't, don't be discouraged if you don't do well in the first year. Do your best, mm-hmm. for real. Do your best. Put in all the effort. Um, yeah. I, just do your best but the truth is that in first year you are it it's very likely that you may not do as well as you want yeah you and, and, and the problem with it is that don't keep just hear this the problem is that second year is probably going to be worse we'll talk about second year <laughs> talk about second year but it's probably going to be worse um <clears throat> but the thing is that you will graduate well and and just know that first year a lot of a lot of your energy will go into friendships relationships uh, uh, if you're a party person, parties, a lot of your energy will go into uh, understanding food. Yeah. Even just, just the mental, like, like, just like culture shock. The effort your mind puts in, the mental efforts to realize, oh, this is how things run. Oh, wait, mm-hmm. I could walk through that shortcut and reach the shop, the, the store instead of taking bus for thirty long. minutes. Yeah. Ah, you know, and you've done it maybe. 25 times every time you go sh- grocery shopping you'll be moving up and down instead of you to just walk that way yeah and i hope a lot of nigerian parents begin to understand that first year like it's not easy for a child to travel that far across the world and just there are people who do it but um don't break you don't beat yourself down if you don't see yourself succeeding as well yeah, yeah, yeah. um and that's, and, well that's key like having to understand that people actually do well like there's some people that actually really do on well first year that they come in and it's almost like it's a sort of continuation yeah. it's also like important to know like if you're if you had a good tr- how do you um track record yeah or like, i'm saying in terms of like transfer into university like if someone if you're looking at someone else who you just came straight from maybe a Nigerian high school mm-hmm. and, you're, and you're looking at someone else who maybe finished in, in Nigerian high school but came here and then did high school like the last year mm-hmm. and then entered into uni and they're doing well and you're wondering why you're not doing as well, there's a big difference. And courses too, like different yeah, programs and you know, Or you're looking at someone who did A-levels who mm-hmm. already had like a first year, you know, like kind of schooling, your, you know. Your your own psychology to somebody doing chemical engineering uh-huh, that kind of a thing it's it's not realistic so 
uni life it's all about you yeah. it's don't bother don't disturb yourself about other people you know, or other you, people you get frustrated yeah you, you eventually just lose it because it's just like what am i doing and the crazy thing is i love those people even when they seem the head of you it's like bro we're still here yeah, yeah, yeah. you <laughs> actually then, figure out you, like, you, you, you guys are still in the same same boat uh, God, how, when would you know that first year you might not know but like when you're your third year like, ah, yeah. this guy you're not graduating <laughs> you don't don't really don't nah don't yeah. follow all that story. just focus on yourself on, yeah. on your own have that growth mindset like okay and be realistic with yourself and, and expect you the school you know? expect the school to make expect this let me try and focus here mm-hmm. expect the school I'm so to, i know it's like so distracting <laughs> expect the school to make you feel like you should take five six courses oh yeah, 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 yeah. it's a dangerous thing mm-hmm. dangerous they, they, the point is to weed people out of the programs if you're especially if you're in engineering they want to weed you out of first year program by making you take five six you see like they're raining hell on you um you don't have any time for yourself and etc like my, my my advice to everybody is take four courses all through except five is necessary mm-hmm. if it's like my and even four can be heavy but if it's one point five credits each, uh, take man. four, okay. But because that makes you a full time student, makes you comfortable. You can work. So you can, work, you yeah, can yeah. do other things, yeah. But well, actually, on one end, you know, the school because me starting off from Kemosan, I wanted to take like because Kemosan obviously it's not as you know tasking as coming there. They wanted me to just take I think one course when I could handle three courses at the start. So it's all about understanding what you can do earlier. And it's, it's about speaking to the people who have done exactly what you've done. Yeah. And you know I don't trust your advice. Nah. I don't want because yeah, but true. Don't yeah. nah, just don't f- trust don't, them don't fully. fully. Yeah. Because they can help you because they they're doing the I don't know if they're doing the best for you, but they're doing the best for you in the school. Yeah. You know, you don't really care about the school. <laughs> when you get to the school, they'll tell you, Oh, you have an issue with your academics. Mm. Meet your academic advisor, which is true. Meet them because they will give you, a, they will give you a, an understanding of how yeah. things work. A skeleton. You, yeah, a skeleton exactly. Oh, like oh. A, like a, a blueprint. Yeah, yeah. But uh, you have to do the research yourself. Just, yeah, yeah, like yeah. you have to spend hours on it because now, like I, I don't understand why I haven't met my advisors before. Mm. Like, I have done everything myself. My advice actually misled me. Advisors have misled so many people, especially I, international children, because all you do is say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-mm. And they'll just give you like the advice is based on an average mm. to them on how you know people, so many other different uh, international students did it, but which might not really work for you specifically. So that's why it's more key to follow or look for those that have actually is, done it. A lot of these things, Seth, is, is a lot of these things experience that would experience that will push you to understand better sometimes like mm-hmm. you may not be able to understand the importance of your own research yeah, until yeah, you have to be misled by an advisor True. so sometimes like you need to listen to, you also need to listen to them to understand what to even research it's not easy mm-hmm. to just sit down and start cracking your head to research yeah. you know so if you're expecting first and this goes for master students too oh yeah master students yeah. like especially international ones they like doing uh, I, I, got to, I got this yeah. I, was, I was in school in Nigeria mm-hmm. you know and do you know, yes. step on your face. <laughs> yeah, I think you're a fire ballet. Just calm down. Just, just calm down. You know, yeah. it's, but for that one I'm telling you about, just find somebody. You know, because so many like uh, Nigerians. Or, Except if you're in like uh, yes. if you're in the East, if you're in like Toronto, you find someone that's doing it. But you can't go to British Columbia, fast that where side, there really where there's not that many Africans. You may not be able to meet someone who is doing your maybe not your like specifically because Cause what I'm saying is there's some people, some people are like down, you know, once they get into like maybe school, they already see the Nigerians, but there's some Nigerians who come like, I don't want to say with Nigerians and mm-hmm. they, they prevent themselves from even knowing them or getting to just say hi, whatever, because they feel like once they've come here, they've, mm-hmm. I mean, if that's you, if that's who you want to be, that's cool. But in terms of helping yourself forward, just at least find one person. Who can who has been in the school before for maybe a year or two who can give you advice mm-hmm. and then you can go on, on that journey yeah. you know that you're looking for okay guys well thanks for watching so much or it's has this has been has this been this yeah <laughs> <laughs> ladies and gentlemen thanks so much for watching um one thing we just wanted to make sure you know is that it's it's not as it's not it's like you should 
what I'm trying to say. Don't let first year discourage you. Don't let first year discourage you. you. Know, it's it's a whether long you're, it's hunger journey. that is disturbing you when you enter yeah, yeah, or yeah, lack yeah. of money because usually funds is a huge depressing thing. Mm-hmm. Pressure from parents, uh, culture shock, culture shock, yeah. racism. No, so many things can overwhelm. Yes, yeah, so a lot of things get yeah. tense. Even the weather mm-hmm. overwhelms you. Um, there are lots of things to expect in first year, and but just make sure you begin to learn. And one thing I would advise this: when you arrive campus, take time to look around, learn things that are oh, yeah. available to you. Um, there's lots, usually a lot of facilities yeah, for yeah, you, yeah. but usually a lot of students don't know about them. The school doesn't even advertise them a lot of times. Mm-hmm. And you just miss out on them. It's like, whoa, because how much are they really want you to, you know? Yeah, they don't really know exactly. Because then, if everybody knew about it, yeah, that would be a loss of income for them. For example, some places on campus would have free printing, but you don't know. Do you know <laughs> where there's free printing on campus? Not really. <laughs> I've told you before. No, oh, I just feel very good. Oh no, no, I'm actually paying for that one. There's like, free printing somewhere on campus. For real? So why am I? Why is there not a place to pay for printing? Because all I've done is pay for printing. See, so that's what I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not my first year. <laughs> that might my second <laughs> Exactly. <graduating. laughs> <It's so laughs> grad- exactly. Soon graduating. So there's a lot of things to learn. I'll show you. Yeah, find all the things that you're like entitled to. Yes, entitled you know? to as a student. And, I, and that you might not really get from your advisor. The old body will tell you. They will, like, take you, they will take you on orientation. They will even show you. <laughs> you know, as your parents told you to go forth, <laughs> the school team will tell you. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> Yo. Nah, so there's so many things like on this campus that I had no idea about. He was the one that, because I guess that's his thing. Like he was just like, oh, do you know there's this library here? Do you know this? I'm like, no, 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 no. So it's just now that I'm actually just figuring my way out. Like they don't let you eat on, in, in one library that everybody goes, to. but it's another library that's like, very yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And make noise. Just chill. And chill. You know. <laughs> Anyway, don't forget to like, subscribe, uh, hit us up, comment section below, um, ask us questions, and what? Uh, we'll be willing to, we'll be ready to answer your questions. Um, we're, we're doing this as a series, so don't forget to either watch the one before this and the one after this to help you kind of prepare yourself for coming to Canada as a student. And this goes across the board, PhD, masters, undergraduates, and uh, people who are just doing simple courses. Oh, but one thing, you should know first year is bomb like in terms of like the excitement i don't think you ever be excited about school the way you are in first year like the way you're in first year like in second third everything just like <laughs> 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 but like in first year your excitement even to learn yeah even to be learn. And, and just to meet people uh, you know just, guy, just to be seeing babes up and down bro <laughs> like, if you're a girl, just uh, you know, like, <laughs> like you know, the, in first year everything, everything is, is just exciting. and they try to make everything shine, you know. And most of the things like the school wants to do to advertise themselves is geared yeah, towards, towards you. You know, they'll be like, the oh, we're having group, pizza you know, on Tuesday and, outside. And you come out in third or fourth. Maybe it's free. Yeah, well, it's free. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Most of the things that they are advertising, your school fees, but it's just inside, inside, inside your school fees. <laughs> you know, straight outside like that. Shit. You know. So yeah, you just know that first year is the most exciting year of so, the yeah, school. It's super so exciting. come in to really enjoy yeah, your first make year. Most you know, because if your if your if your first year is, is just boring, because you're trying to be careful with it, mm-hmm. da, 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 you make it dull. Like it's just because usually it goes like this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was trying to level it here, but <laughs> since my guy went, <laughs> you then, know, then the Lord lifts you up. <laughs> The Lord takes you higher. <laughs> See, so be, be, don't follow that. The idea is that if you can go very high the first year, where you land is maybe in the middle, like safe landing. But if you st- mean you mean mentally, <laughs> like psychologically, like it, happiness, yeah, you know, in general. Okay, yeah, you so because you don't want to start low, because you're already on the ground, you're already hitting the rock bottom. So because eventually it's, it's, it's gonna dip. So make sure you're high enough that by the time you're dipping, you're going out maybe in the middle, you know. Yeah. And who knows, my girls with you can even scale back mm-hmm. up. Yeah, but, I mean there are people that are blessed, yeah, there are people who really enjoy it throughout physically, mm-hmm. mentally, academically. School is fun. It can be, it can be. <laughs> <laughs> Alright.